what can you do so next on the list i think i'm gonna i'm gonna click on here was the innovation label night talking about nightclubs fold the you know the legendary london nightclub that i've championed in the very beginning i went to the first party i went to a couple of other parties hence that henceforth um i've recommended it on my youtube channel here for a while i've recommended it here on the podcast and some people have reached out to me we've been able to go so big up you who've kind of reached out to me and said you know how it's been and given and asked for advice i've been able to do that and i'm just happy now that it's kind of it feels if the fold has kind of reached another chapter i think there was a period in time where it felt as if like it was a bit dicey they were kind of struggling to get people to come through the doors but i think as per restaurants as per other forms of entertainment places or bars it's a bit of a slow build you have to kind of earn the respect or earn the trust of punters and now it feels as if like even though i still not agree with the, the bookings i still think some of the bookings are a little bit too there's a little bit too much res- reliance on the promoters bringing in good people i still think they need to be able to make a friday saturday or thursday friday or something where continually you just go there because it's going to be sick DJs playing all night long. I think that'll be quite good in the long term. But again, this is not my um, remit to kind of give an opinion. I'm just a, uh, a fan from the outside. But I think if they're able to do that and have a consistent night, people can go to with a sprinkling in of the odd uh, label night here and there. In the same vein of like a Robert Johnson, right, where they're able to kind of they have a consistent night that they they have, they have, they have an in-house night they put on all the time. They invite friends and family of the club and other big DJs, and then they have other other big nights to come up you know if if, Seb, if Seb, Richie Horton has got an album he's promoting he wants to put out you you have you have him do his thing there but by and large have this complete kind of rolodex of big DJs playing week in week out and it kind of keeps keep itself going but that being said they have a big label night happening uh, very very soon on the 14th of December in Visions London 24 hour party so they don't have them all the time now I think when they first um to spoke about fall there was this idea that it would be 24 hour every week but it seems that they got they got a license particularly for certain times in the month but by and large it's still up until six which is good enough for london i don't think there's gonna be there's not many places in london you can go to a party from like 10 to 6 anyway so it's still good enough for us but this is going to be a full 20 hour part 24 hour party from 12 on saturday all the way until uh was that it, yeah <laughs> one a.m on monday morning so it's going to be an absolutely insane night individuals are putting on a rave at fold individuals if you're not from, from where is the, the dix is the dixon helm label that's kind of been at the forefront of pushing kind of electronic music or that kind of deep mm, deep techno electro kind of sound you know into to a forefront i'm sure some of you guys are familiar with um some of you guys are familiar with jimmy jules um, you know, so you prefer the whole Dixon kind of affiliate crew tricks, all these guys, you know, they, they're out here doing some really good things. Um, and they put on some amazing parties and some really cool, amazing play, cool and interesting places. Um, Lost in Sound, blah, blah, blah. So they're doing a, a, a particular, they're doing a, a London version of the nights they put on in other cities. It's going to be a 24 hour party. They haven't really released a lineup yet. It's up here on version advisor. Tickets are coming out on Friday, but the heading is as usual here. Uh, please note, fold is a 24 hour licensed venue. Individuals will return to London, sorry. Winter to 24 hour special London club event. Individuals will go back to its basis with an intimate club show at Fold in the heart of East London. From start to finish with full 24 hours, you can expect to hear the best of Innovision sound from all the people involved in the label, of course. Produced in partnership with the London Warehouse, um, London Warehouse events again. So big up those guys. They're always kind of um, making sure we get good nights here in London. London's big underground events organizer. It's definitely not um, to be missed for all local electronic music lovers the event it runs from midnight saturday the 14th of december to midnight on the 15th so tickets going to be on sale from friday and it's going to be good for me i'm going to get a ticket probably on friday i'm probably again sober october until the middle of november and then from then on kind of you know maybe slowly start to get back on the on it from like the end of november onwards just to kind of reset the clock and kind of get back into good habits but yeah it's going to be a great night i recommend if you're um an electronic electronic music fan or you haven't been to fold previously this probably will be a good good enough time to go if any fold has got probably one of the best sound systems in london um dixon um and all those guys are probably some of the best djs in the scene at the, at the moment right they're really up there so some of the best guys you're going to see so if you're going to want to go see some of the best people playing in london at one of the best clubs in london with some of the best sound system i recommend you go check out fold on the foyer december tickets are coming out tomorrow which is the what the 11th of, of october if you listen to now on thursday it's going to come out tomorrow on friday 11th of october so definitely check out resident advisor for links i'll put the event on the show notes resident advisor for you guys to check it out and buy your tickets asap don't miss out on this one it's going to be a big one it's going to be a big one um next on the list have you guys seen the warehouse project in manchester and how that's going that is going insane so warehouse project manchester has opened up a new space right and it looks flipping nutty i want to be i really want to go 
I went to Manchester a few months ago. And it was a hell of an experience. Going to, Manchester, going to places outside of London anyway is pretty cool because they usually haven't got the same amount of hype or same amount of corniness as a city like London. And it's a newer experience. Plus the kids, they don't really get access to those kind of acts on a regular basis. So when they do come out, they're out just for the fun. They're out to have a good time. You know, you, you only have to look at boiler rooms. Boiler rooms are a good example of judging UK crowds. Look at any boiler room that isn't in London and the crowd is always lit. It's always big good times always big smiles everyone having a fun time but in london you know we're we're spoiled over here man we're 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 too we're overfed you know i mean we're henry the eighth out here you know i mean we've been stuffed and stuffed full of turkeys you know and, and, and an extra chicken leg ain't gonna make any difference to our taste buds but so far warehouse project looks like an interesting space they've got some cool videos they pop on their instagram with some of the nights that they have here um that i'm a big fan of they've got a video here of the outside of people of people going inside that looks flipping amazing too and yeah, I'm just a big fan of the space of how it looks overall. It looks fucking cool, innit? It looks super, super interesting. I love, I love the, I love that sort of like um, what, what they, what they, is that, are they, are they, are they from a meat shop? That's kind of like vinyl, kind of uh, plastic shower curtain screen doors that people go through. I think that's really cool. Great light showing doors. It just it reminds me of just like the old school rave culture scene in the UK. You know when you watch um that film Beat that just came out recently, is it Beat Beat the Scottish film? Um, it reminds me of that kind of era, right? With all the lights going off and people raving and jumping up and down. It just looks insane. And they've got this amazing thing now as well, where they where you can book the tickets in collaboration with like a club with like a hotel booking. Sorry, they've got you can book tickets in, in together as a combo, which makes it even more interesting too to go to. But yeah, just an amazing scene. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Let's scroll down again. They've got a little interview here with Alicia, who I follow. That's great as well to see there. Um. Again, Chase the State is going to be playing there, which is again, they're going to kill it in a place like that. But again, it looks, it looks like an amazing venue. I can't wait to go there, man. Um, oh, look, Friday, 25th of October, they've got Scream, Euris Von, Youssef, Latham. Oh, my God. Massive, massive lineup there. Marco Corolla and, and Joseph Caparetti back to back is going to be amazing. Marco Corolla is known for playing, you know, an epic fucking, you know, nine year long flipping <laughs> sets. So that's going to be pretty cool. Oh, Powell and Belfast. It's a bit from Belfast. Not, yeah, yeah, but look how amazing it looks. Look how great that looks that ve as a venue. Look at that. That is incredible. It makes Printworks look like a fucking alibi, isn't it? It's fucking nuts how big that is. It's amazing. All the groupies in the DJ booth I fucking hate, but you wish you were there yourself. But yeah, it looks fucking cool, man. I really can't wait to go there. So yeah, Big Up Warehouse Project and what they're doing there. It was like an amazing space. I really can't wait to go visit it. Hopefully sometime later on this year. Um, loads of really cool videos that they put out here. Any Mac presents. Is this a video from there? I think so, yeah. There's a really good video of, of Nina Kravitz playing at the Warehouse Project too. That was amazing. You definitely check out. Here's a video of Ether Everything there too. Huh? Awesome. All these big DJs and big bangers are gonna absolutely smash what happens to see the bits. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, yes. Awesome. That's mad, man. Looks like it's gonna be mad fun. I can't wait to go check that out, man. I really cannot wait to go check that out. But yeah, amazing place. Definitely recommend you check it out. Warehouse Project in Manchester is popping off. Everyone's kind of having, a, everyone's having a good time out there. Danny Bird out there too. Not for me, that stuff's not for me. But let's go down again. <laughs> Patrick Turping as well is there, yep. He's always playing some good stuff. just looks amazing the light show is so cool man such a good again i wish we had more of these things it's similar to fold like we need a few more of these places dotted around the uk match of is gonna be playing too songs oof, bloody hell gonna be an absolute terror but yeah definitely recommend you check it out of course warehouse project in manchester it's out there they're doing bits and they're absolutely smacking it so yeah definitely recommend you check that out for sure what's this a flower yeah nice <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love raving in it man yeah awesome for, 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 for more coming 2nd of November Fuller more makes his rare project appear for Halloween that's gonna be insane as well so yeah I recommend you check that out it's gonna be awesome warehouse project in Manchester here we go but yeah 